Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it as it comes in, watch it as it goes out. And then with the next, and then the next. Just stay with the breath. Put in a special effort to stay right here. Any thoughts that come into your mind, you can just let them go. You don't have to follow them. You don't have to do anything with them. They'll dissolve on their own. All you have to do is stay with the sensation of the breathing wherever you feel it most clearly. Today's the first day of the rains. The rains retreat is the time usually when the monks put in a special effort to study and to practice. And it's a good example for lay people. You have to look at your life. What are the things that need to be abandoned? What are the things that need to be developed? You might want to make a special vow for the three months that you're going to put more effort in and do, be less on the internet and spend more time looking at your own mind instead of looking at that screen. Find new ways to be generous. Look at the precepts. Which precept are you still weak in? You might, might want to strengthen that one. And for your meditation, find more time to meditate. So look at your life. Where are the, where are the weak areas that need to be filled in? We want to make sure that the causes we create in our life for goodness are complete, because with the goodness we want as a result, we, we also want it to be complete. But if there are holes in the causes, then there are going to be holes in the results. Nobody wants things that are full of holes. So you want to look at your life, look at your generosity, look at your virtue, look at your meditation. Look at the people you stay with. Are they the right people to be hanging around with in order to practice the Dharma? Lots of areas you can look at your life and make up your mind that for the next three months you're going to make a special effort to strengthen the weak points and to further strengthen the strong points so that your goodness is complete. Three months isn't too long a time. But you do have to make sure that you make a good kind of vow. In other words, the first quality of a good vow is that you use your discernment. Okay, what would really be a useful change in your life? And what are you capable of? What's enough to push you a little bit further than you normally like? But it's not going to push you to the breaking point. And then once you use your discernment to decide on a particular vow, then you're true to it. You stick with it. Even when on the days when you feel lazy, on the days when you don't feel like it, you realize, okay, goodness doesn't matter whether you want it or not. It's there. The opportunity to be good is there. You don't know how much longer that opportunity is going to be there. So even on the days when the opportunity seems pretty minimal, in other words, you feel lazy and the situation doesn't seem to be conducive, still that's your chance. You're going to make most of whatever chance you've got to do good. Then you let go of anything that would get in the way of your vow, and then you try to keep your mind calm throughout this. In other words, you don't get worked up about how many more days are left in the rains, or you don't get worked up about how difficult things are. If things are difficult, you try to use your discernment to find some way to strengthen your strong points so it helps carry you through the weak areas. When your vow has these four qualities, then it's a vow that's going to be lasting, and it's a vow that's going to really make a good difference. So remember, discernment, truth calm, and relinquishment. These are the four qualities of any good vow. And this is a good time to take vows, because other people will be taking them too. You can use that as an encouragement. So on the days when you feel weak, you see other people's example, they're still strong, okay, you can try to follow their example. If they're getting weak themselves, and you can say, well, maybe they're weak, but I'm not going to let that happen to me. You can use your healthy sense of pride, your healthy sense of conceit there, to help pull you through. 